and I got to find it here because I meant to print it out and I didn't. So I got to pull it up on my little thing here. I, mean, I really, uh, you know, I don't like, I don't actually like releasing words like this, but it's not, um, it's not like I have to, you know, the Lord uh, asked me to. And um, he confirmed it supernaturally this morning that I was supposed to, much like the word about a new sickness last August. I felt very similarly about this word that he gave me. He gave it to me yesterday, and I actually told it to Sam, and I'm like, I just don't know if I'm supposed to release it or not. And this morning he did something that I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. And so I just want to read it to you. Um, I'm just going to read you what I wrote down. So uh, Shavuot 27 and Nisan 27, th- those were Jewish months that was yesterday through um, the 4th of April. God gave me ten, three tens. Tens are symbolic in the Bible of testing. So Daniel and his friends, they got tested 10 days, you know, when they were fasting. Uh, disciples in the upper room, they, they were praying 10 days, and then the Spirit was poured out. He gave me three tens. He gave me three verses that were all tens, and he said, I'm going to do these in three months. And he said, he called them the, the prophecy of the tens to me. And I've never had him like say this is a prophecy, give, give it a title. So the prophe- prophecy of times of testing for the church is, is the way I understand it. The first one he gave me was 2 Kings 8.10, and I will post this on the Light Hop uh, family prayer room. So if you want to read it later, you can. God will reveal what's really in the heart of assistance in the church. He said great betrayal will ensue as impatience invades leadership structures. He wants us to actually watch for this that there's great trouble coming to church leadership structures. Now, he told me that Light Hop was sealed from these things already. But you don't take that as a sweet, we're fine. We take that as a, we see these things in gratitude and humility and thankfulness. And then we pray more. Like The whole idea is you pray more, okay? So God will reveal what's really in the heart of us. If you know the story, 2 Kings 8.10, uh, Elisha, uh, the king of of Syria's servant comes and asks Elisha if the king of Syria is going to die. And Elisha says, no, he'll recover from the sickness, but he's still going to die. And he basically said, you're going to kill him. Like you want, you want to kill him. And the guy goes and kills him and takes his position. The Lord showed me this is a picture of something that's going to happen in the church in the next three months, like global. The Lord's going to turn the water of tears. This is number two. Tears of, the water of tears into the wine of revival. This will test many people. Many will fail for popularity siren song. Like they'll literally fall away because God gives them what they wanted. And they'll hear the siren song of now changing everything to accommodate revival. That's the way I understood it. Now that's, that's some of my hamburger helper with the hamburger. He said, the Lord's going to turn the water of tears into the wine of revival. This will test many. Many will fall for popularity siren song. They will abandon the principles of holiness for increase. That's John 1, 10 to 23. The third one, this is the one that makes me tremble in my own heart. A wave of carnality will break on the church. It will manifest in sin becoming nearly irresistible. Hear what I'm saying. Unrepented of sin. I specifically saw lust, greed, fear, jealousy, gossip, and lying will be incredibly difficult to resist. The Lord is going to lift his hand of restraint. The love of many has grown cold and obedience will begin to fail en masse. And he gave me Romans 8, 10 to 11 to say that word to me. He said, the Lord has sealed light hop. We must see these things with gratitude and intercession, not haughtiness and condemnation. So I just want to encourage you to hold that before the Lord. I did my part in releasing it. I believe it. I'm going to be repenting into all three of these things, not coveting other people's stuff, positions, roles, influence. I'm going to be turning in my heart. And asking the Lord, Lord, search me, any sin. I don't want to find out that it's harder to resist sins I've been struggling to resist already because I'm not really giving them to him. There's a difference between gritting your teeth and resisting sin and actually repenting of it and turning to the Lord and asking him to search us and and that we're not okay with it. So if that's, I just encourage you, spend a little bit of time with the Lord. And as you see these things unfold, you will see them. You will see them. In humility and mercy, not in condemnation, pointing of the finger. And, and there would be a very big temptation to be like, good, I knew they were going to fall. We do not want to do that. We want to be a people that are like, by the grace of God, God, let me pray more when I see your judgment. Okay? Great. So, Holy Spirit, we're just asking, would you um, 
Help us to love the spirit of prophecy. Help us to not shrink back from what you, 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 what you do in love, Jesus. I just thank you that you love us, that you put a hand of restraint on us. I'm just asking for light hop. We don't re- remove your hand from us, God. Help us. Help us resist.